What's up everybody, I'm Jeremy and you're watching Morphles Morphs. This week's video, as you all know, I vended my first show at the Gettysburg Reptile Expo LLC. While I was there, I managed to sneak away just for a little bit, do a couple interviews with some awesome breeders. So that's basically what this video is gonna be, folks. It's gonna be me interviewing a couple of awesome breeders. You're gonna get to see some awesome snakes and you're gonna get to see one person we've all been hoping and waiting to see on camera with snakes, everybody. So make sure you stay tuned for that because I was excited to get their first debut on another YouTube channel. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. I promise you, you're going to be happy with it. Before we get into this week's video, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Hit the like button. Drop me a comment down below. Which one of these breeders do you think had the most spectacular looking snake? Um, I'll be honest with you. I don't know if I could choose because the, like it's just, yeah. You'll have to see it, folks. I promise you it's going to be hard to choose. But let me know which one you think wins as far as who had the best snake. So let's get into this week's video. All right, we're, we're here with Manda from In Your Face Exotics. What's up, Manda? What's up? So what are, what, are, what are you working with here? you got some awesome snakes. Yeah, we have some reticulated pythons. Ooh. Yeah, we got the big boys and girls. Nice. Yeah, a couple ball pythons, but all retics otherwise. Awesome. Now, what are you, what more are you mainly working with with the retics? Oh, everything that's pretty, which is everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, we really don't have any narrowed down specific genetic. Okay. We just kind of go with the flow and whatever we really love, that's what we do. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. You want to show some off? Yeah. Let's bring it. Um, I'm going to bring out this pretty girl. This is a platinum amel tiger. Oh wow. She is about, she's almost two years old. She's a Valentine's Day 2021 baby. Oh wow. So yeah. She's, she's beautiful. She's gorgeous. She's such a sweetheart. I can't believe we still have her. <laughs> I've I'm I had the same feeling here with some of my stuff today too. I, yeah. <laughs> she yeah. is beautiful. Yeah, she's super awesome. Sarah's bringing over a cow, GC cow. Very nice. He's trying to get his eyes. You gotta check out those eyes and face. Oh. That's beautiful. Gotta say, at some point you gotta let me hold one. I've never held a retail. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. You know what? You want to hold one right now? Sure. All right. We're here. Let's finish the filming okay. and then we'll hold Let's one. I'll, I'll get you to take a picture of me holding it because I got a friend that, that she'll great. love it. Yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> so what are some some of these beautiful hatchlings here? Yep. As you see, we have a wide variety. Yeah, um, so many colors. Yep. We got the lavenders, more lavender. That's beautiful. And the wonderful normal. They're still Just beautiful. Just a normal, though. normal snake. We got still the anthrax, beautiful. tiger anthrax. That's neat. Yep. So we have a big variety of animals. Or I should say retics. This thing's all like the pixelation on it. Uh huh. Reminds me of, like the monsoon tall pipe. Yes, thought. yes. Let me see if you can get a little more clear. There. She just shed out, so she's really, really bright right now. In the iridescence. Mm hmm. Good grief. That's beautiful. Ah. There we go. Yeah, we have quite the variety of everything. Nice. So. And this thing, oh. that thing has caught that caught my eye the second I saw it. She actually just shut out today. So actually, there's two of them. She is on fire. That is beautiful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so she is a super tiger annery pet snow. Ooh, okay. That's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. That's probably the best looking retake I've ever seen. Yes, at all yes, absolutely. 
very nice. Now she's not going to want to go back in. <laughs> Typical snake. Yes, absolutely. Is there anything else you want to show us? Some, uh, some you're really excited. Is there any uh, neat pairings you have going on for this coming season? We actually have been slacking, and we have not even bred anything yet. We haven't paired anything yet for okay. free ticks. Um, but we will be starting in the next couple of weeks. I okay, would say. awesome. So we just yep. gotta wait for the husband. He's gotta make the decision. <laughs> any pairings you know you're gonna do that you're excited about? Um, I think we're gonna be digging into more pied stuff. Okay. Um, just different variations. Okay. So, I'm not awesome. sure exactly what he's going to choose, but <laughs> we'll find out. Awesome. And yeah. where can they, everybody find you at? We are at In Your Face Exotics. Um, we're out of Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. This is our business card right here. There you go, everybody. Yeah. And if you have questions on anything, mine and Sarah's number, which is my partner in crime, they're right there. So, shoot us a text. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. You bet. Thank you. All right, everybody. We are with the one and only Phil of Finger Snakes. What's going on, brother? How's it going, guys? So, show us what you got going on here, Phil. Uh, so, I brought a few things. Uh, obviously, brought my Grail Project stuff. So, this is my Enchi Grail here. He's also possibly Hep Pied. I haven't gotten him shed tested yet because I'm lazy. <laughs> uh, a lot of really cool lavender stuff in here. Everybody likes the Starburst stuff. Oh, I got a pile in here. It's a snake ball. Snake balls. So this is uh, what everybody knows as the Starburst. It's also 66% Het Clown. And it's possible Het Pied. Nice. And then in Shed, we have a black pastel Starburst. And she's also 66% Het Clown, possible Het Pied. Everything in this ball is um, Enchi Pastel Lavender, possible Het Clown, possible Het Pied. Nice. Black Pewter Lavender, also in the Holy Grail project. And in Shed. And in Shed. We got a bunch of them in Shed. <laughs> that means they're growing good. They're growing good. No, I brought them out so people could see the ingredients. So here we have the Starburst, other than the Lavender Albino. So Leopard Enchi Black Pastel. It's actually a Black Pastel Starburst. That's but this nice. thing is really nice. Really, really nice. I love the colors. Right? Yeah, it's got really cool colors. And then we have the Black Pastel Leopard. Possible Heck Grail, possible Heck Pied. This thing's awesome. Uh, yeah, the pattern on that dude. Holy crap. Really cool. Uh, I brought some spotted pythons with me. I was gonna say, but I think we gotta show one of these little guys off. I'll take this call out. And so everybody can see the difference. There's a ball python egg. There's a spotted python egg. And there's the baby. Yep. And how old is four is months old? Four months old. Yep. So they are tiny, folks. Beautiful, but tiny. Um, just some other cool stuff. There's an odium combo in here that's pretty neat, and then a super pastel hidden gene woman het clown in there. See, so we're show off some of these because you got some awesome odium stuff in here. That's so this this stuff in here is. Some of it's for sale, but you can find it on Morph Market if you're interested. So this is the Beast. This is the Mojave Hidden Gene Woma Enchi Odium, and it's Het Clown. So this is definitely a future project snake right here, and it's female, so that's a keeper. Then we have another female here. This is a Pastel Enchi Pinstripe. Hidden Gene Woma Odium. And look at this snake. That This thing, folks, is freaking out of this world. Uh, this is probably my favorite Odium combo here. It's really cool. The sides are really, really blown out. Now tell everybody how, what, 
what odium does. That way, because odium it's basically you takes the snake, and at the halfway point where you see the melanin gets darker, over time the top of the snake will get brighter and darker in contrast, and the lower half of the snake will lose all of its darker pigments, and it'll continue to get lighter and more blown out as time goes. So if you see like the older ones, they have more whites on the side that yeah. came out because they're losing color there. Um, you can really see it in the next odium combo. So this is just a lemon blast odium, the next one. And it's very easy to see, at least in person, what it's doing to the sides of the snake. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. Uh, it's picking up a little bit, yeah. But it really starts to just fade out everything below this line right here, this imaginary line that you see coming through the snake. Everything down below will eventually get a lot lighter and everything on top will get darker and, and more contrast. But it also does funky things with the pattern and funky things with the color. This is a pretty bright snake in person. Yeah. And we move on to another Odium combo. And this one's really cool. Super Enchi Pinstripe Hidden Gene Wilma Odium. And you get the most crazy orange sides. So this one you can see, it shows up clear as day that long. And if you guys have, have seen my Instagram with the Super Hidden Gene Wilma Odium that I hatched that died, it looked similar in pattern style yeah. to this, but it obviously was a lethal combo. This is gonna live for a long time. A really cool. And not a lot of people know this, but uh, I sent an Odium Beast out to Big D's Pythons to be put into his ginger project. Ooh, so that might be something down the road that's really cool. But we'll find out later. Um, other than that, just a bunch of stuff from the show that I thought would sell today, <laughs> at least, or get closer to selling. A lot of the high-end, really nice stuff is still at home, but you can go see that at Morph Market or follow me on Instagram if you want to see those things. Um, this is, we'll get this guy out. Everybody remembers seeing this guy online as a baby, but he's really gotten colorful as he's grown. He's beautiful. This is an Enchi Grail, possible het pied. And I don't know if the colors pick up totally on camera, but it's really neat. If I would have gotten leopard in this and had a starburst grail, I would have been over the moon, but maybe next year. So he, his colors are coming through pretty darn close to what it is. That's life. great. But just really fun with the grail stuff. Still so much to be done. I was like kind of inspired last week when I saw Eric Meyer's video on his Grail project stuff and um, he just hatched his first one this year. So and he's, I aspire to be just like him. He's a really cool guy. So to, to be a little ahead of him in certain things is kind of neat and just keeps me driven and keeps me pushing. Awesome, dude, awesome. So where can everybody find you at? Uh, Instagram at, at fingersnakesbp and then uh, Morph Market would be, you know, fingersnakes uh, on my Morph Market page. Other than that, everybody knows my YouTube life is pretty slim. Um, <laughs> but he's always in the chat, so everybody. I'm always he's, there. He's always in the chat I'm room, so there. look out for him. So, but yeah, this is uh, how you usually can come see me. Come check me out at the shows, especially the awesome group of people we have at this show in particular yes. uh, it's incredible so uh, come out and see us all right bro thank you thank you all right we are with dave and sarah of ds royals, DS royals. so right. what do you got going on here at the show guys uh well we brought a good selection of babies and uh we have at least brought one breeder female a lot of pied inventory, uh, black pastel and banana mixed in. Uh, we do still have one left of the Sundays, which is that combination of banana, taranja, and chocolate. Just, uh, we do have, it's a small selection, but it's a large variety section. Nice. You guys want to show any of it off quick? Yes, yeah, of course. We have some really nice looking albino pieds. Uh, price to sell, of course. Go with this guy. 
You know this girl here? She's been sleeping long enough, you know. Gotta, <laughs> gotta give her scale some stretch. Yeah. Very beautiful. Yeah, both of our albino pies have come with that uh, that white circle around the head. Very They're love. Everyone seems to love that head stamp. Um, low white on both of them, which uh, likes to accentuate that nice pie pattern. Yep. Um, I love the low whites. Same here. Same so, here. Anyone who knows a pie that knows like, low whites the way to go. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I totally agree. Especially with what it does to pattern the low whites. Yeah. Uh huh. So yep. This is our. This is one of our good girls here. Um, I definitely want to show off this black pastel banana pie boy. We actually kept his sister at home, uh, also black pastel banana pie bald. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. And just the pattern on him is gorgeous. And if you look at it just Almost. the right angle, it looks like a smiley face. Almost yep. emoji. Almost. So close. Yeah. And of course, nice. he wants to embody the name of Paul Ball Python. And go back into his little ball yeah <laughs> yep doing what they and do best being a rock <laughs> yeah you <Nah. laughs> well yeah he didn't want to see the light <laughs> <laughs> and then there's the sunday absolutely that's beautiful that thing glows yeah, yeah. he's getting even better with age he's just starting to get his speckles um, he's getting a few more than his father does, uh, probably due to the soup. His father's a super taranja, oh, so okay. it's probably uh, negating those speckles, the banana. Banana's such a strong gene, so. Yeah. But you can see those orange highlights. That yep. is the taranja, definitely speaking. And everybody's commented, the pictures and video do not do it justice on him. Absolutely. So you're going to have to watch this one. Yeah. You're gonna be pleased with what, how this, with how. Uh, I'm this okay one that he hasn't left yet. I like to see him growing up. <laughs> yeah. I've got a few of those too. I'm okay if they stay. Yep. Absolutely. Very beautiful. Yep. Show off of what else is here. And where can everybody find you guys at? So we're located right outside of Baltimore, Maryland in Dundalk. Um, you can also reach out to us at DS Royals 2019 Instagram or DS Royals on Facebook.com. Awesome. And hopefully here's the contact info, everybody. Easiest way to do it. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Appreciate thanks, it. Good seeing you. All right. So that's going to be it for this week's video, folks. I hope you all enjoyed it. It's, it'd be hard for me to pick between, you know, some of those retics or Phil's Odium stuff. Those two, I think, are probably, you know, up there where I, you know, they're at the top of my list for what I think was the best. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, next time I'm at the Gettysburg Reptile Expo, I will try to do another video as well, just like this one. You know, get some other breeders some recognition, let you see what they're working with. I think it's a really awesome idea and it's pretty cool. And thank you for everybody that actually took the time out of their show day to give me a little bit of your time and, you know, to, to do these awesome interviews. It was awesome getting to see these snakes. Got to hold my first reed tick, which Nicole from Lady Tiz Exotics, there you go, girl, finally held my first reed tick. And it was pretty exciting. It may actually made me want one. I'm not going to lie. Um, but we'll talk about that a whole nother time because I have to still clear that one with the wife. And, you know, that's a down the line of ways, down the line of ways, folks. That's going to be it, everybody. So until next time, later.